Well, I've decided not to do this, this size. I want to go bigger. And uh, it's only because this creates a lot of problems later on down the road. So I'm going to restart this. <laughs> it's the 4th of July. Why not? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this uh, armature, the new armature. And um, I'm going to take this one all apart and uh, put this aside. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I had an interruption. I had uh, some friends come by, and we talked for a while. So uh, it is the Fourth of July, after all. <laughs> I the reason, one reason I wanted to uh, redo the uh, Viking bigger is because I want to do a face that's bigger. I mean, this one was working out okay, but. I just wanted, I got all these eyeballs, these fake eyeballs, and I wanted to try one out. And uh, I have this foam head that's left over from a 24 inch uh, true form armature uh, that uh, I didn't use. And as you can see, the eye is just a little too big for this head and I'm figuring the head would have to be at least that much bigger to make the eye work and so that's how big the head's gonna be that I'm gonna do and uh, now if I could just remember what I do with my magic markers oh there it is I'm going to mark my head measurement here, and I'm going to go two heads, actually. And that would be the width of his shoulders. But it depends on how I want to drape, uh, droop the shoulders. And then I got to figure out the... Uh, half head measurement. The way you do that, you just place your needle where you think the half point is. Oops. And uh, you swing it around, and if it meets the uh, line, which it doesn't, that's the half point. So what I want to do is reduce it just a little bit. Try it again. Now this time it's perfect. So that's the half head point. And I want to do a third, because there are thirds in the uh, measurements. That's not going to work. Yeah, I go a little wider. Oops. Got to put my marker down. I know it's hard to see, because my big hands are in the way. And that's perfect. So there's my third measurement. It's always best to work these things out ahead of time. I'm going to mark this down below. So that I've got the a third and a third and a third. All right. Now I gotta figure out how big I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it from oh on this maquette. I'm gonna make it from about right here at the uh, below the groin, all the way to the top of his head. I and the reason I'm not doing a full figure is because I just don't feel like doing a full figure. There are times you just don't want to do that anyway. And I'm using my. Uh, I'm using my bonsai wire. This is stuff you wrap around uh, a bonsai tree to shape it. 
It's uh, copper, I think, very pliable and uh, strong enough uh, to hold its shape. So I'm going to put my eyeballs away so I don't lose them. And I chose to do blue eyeballs. I, I don't know why. Just why not? Anyway, got to figure out the uh, full length of the warrior. And I'm going to do that. Ah. Hmm. Where am I going to do that? I'm going to do it on my board here. So I want to go, it'd be four heads all together. So rather than mark out each head, I'm just going to mark one mark there, one there, and I should have gone in a little further. Get my tools out of the way. I think you guys can see what I'm doing here, I hope. There you go. So I'm going to go one head there. Half. And one head there. So... Where did I mark? Ah, um, don't have the right marker for this. Here's a better marker. Get the clay out of the way. Starting mark. Half. And there's the full length. Now I'm going to come back. Ow! Just stuck myself. The one thing about needles on calipers, you can stick yourself. Pretty easy. Okay, I'm going to subtract for his head, which will be there. And then half a head from there for the uh, shoulders. And that will give me the length of uh, the upper body, or the uh, torso. So, that's how long I'm going to make the uh, body. Alright, I'm going to come back in a few minutes after I get this thing started. I'm going to uh, use... Uh, monster clay to uh, tie the pieces together and that's because it hardens up and it's a, a good thing to do. This is all I'm going to do today basically because uh, tomorrow is Sunday and I don't work on Sunday. All right. I know it's hard to see this armature. I'm going to try to put something behind it to just show you what it looks like. All right, that's the uh, armature right now. And uh, this is the bottom of the rib cage right there where I've bent in. This is the uh, size of the head uh, that I worked out uh, and also the width of the uh, shoulders and the uh, elbows, which usually come down to the bottom of the uh, rib cage. So I'll pick... Okay, uh, I'll pick this up Monday. The uh, monster clay should be completely hard by that time, you know, or harder. And uh, I, I don't know if it'll work, but what the heck, it seems to be holding everything together. All right, have a great rest of the weekend and a happy 4th of July, no matter where you are. Uh, here in Ennis, they canceled everything because of the friggin' virus. So, till next week. Have a great day. Have a great uh, night. <laughs> I'm going to go fix dinner. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my 
instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.